This is the KTEXAS News Update. Good Thursday morning. Leading our news today, it's a traditional rite of passage, but when does hazing cross the line? McMurray University is in the middle of investigating hazing allegations by a men's social club. Abilene Christian University had a similar investigation about a year and a half ago with three of its men's social clubs, and we'll know more today about an incident involving a Cooper High School tennis player who suffered a head injury in what may have been a hazing incident. Snyder ISD is offering a $2,000 reward for information about a vandalism at Snyder High School. Someone broke, broke in late Tuesday night destroying the library, several offices, classrooms and computers throughout the building. Shattered glass and some fire damage has repair estimates in the thousands of dollars. And tuition at Abilene's three universities is going to go up between 7 and 8 percent this fall. McMurray officials say the extra cost provides extra interaction with professors. Now let's get a check of this morning's weather with Storm Team Meteorologist Chad Garneau. Good morning, Chad. Good morning, Lauren. Good morning, everybody. We've seen plenty of thunderstorms overnight into this morning's commute, and also we plan to have more chances of that later on throughout the afternoon. You can see the cold front that is initiating all these storms is moving more to the east, to the up toward around Oklahoma than it is here in west central Texas, and it's remaining uh, basically stationary. And with that in mind, we're going to have chances on again, off again out there. Not being severe, but frequent lightning strikes is possible, and also Maybe some local flooding, so make sure you tune into the latest for K-Texas on that. High today will be 69 degrees and winds to the south, changing in the north at sometimes at a gusty 10 to 25 miles per hour. Tonight, we'll have more of those storm chances for you in the cloud cover. Temperatures dropping down to more of the mid-50s and winds to the south-southeast at 5 to 15 miles per hour. The seven-day outlook has us at 67 degrees for Friday, and the chances of the thunderstorms exist, and then they will leave town by the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, leaving us with sunshine and temperatures getting closer to those 80 degree markers. That is a look at your weather for today. Have a great Thursday.